know this time in the uh, cutscene. auto aim on. Turn it off. Okay, what I'm gonna do is uh, put the uh, Oh, shit. For headshots. Don't go for a no kill run. P90. Wait, was he talking to me? Hold on. So while we're waiting, so there's Ed and Jonathan. In case you didn't know, they're characters in Police Knots, which is one of, if not the first game designed by Kyo Kojima. And Nero is a character in that game. And in that game, like, that game is unrelated to the Metal Gear universe. It's just really an homage to that game. And in that game, they're all wears um, a bullet earring. And that's what she's wearing in this game. She's got it on her right ear. Come on. Oh, fuck. The oh, fuck. Separated from my group. Holy shit. Going solo. I don't want to use stun grenades because I might uh, enemies who are on the walls or ceilings will drop and I might die. Oh wait. I should be shooting at ones on the wall either. Sorry, man. What the hell? Man, this is hard. There's not a way for me to like lean over without exposing myself like that. Was she talking to me? Uh, did she tell me to get off the front line? So I'm getting my ass kicked.
That is crazy. How the bodies get torched. Need a ration. Johnny, can I spare a ration? Come on. Oh, there we go. Bada boom. Alright. And I realized during this most recent playthrough is that the actor who plays Ed also plays Lee in the Telltale Walking Dead series. I recognize the name. And then once I recognize the name, I recognize the voice. Let's go, let's go. Akiba, get over here! Yeah, Akiba, come on man, you're dragon ass. Just gonna focus one at a time. Future games would like let your character prop his gun up against like railings and corners. Because in this game, if you're like right up against the wall, you can't draw your weapon, you gotta back up a bit. Johnny, eat some ammo. Thanks. Oh, I, I need some uh, trank ammo, man. What's over here? What's this? Smoke grenade? Johnny, get the hell up. Snake, Akiba's been knocked out. Wait, do I have any stun grenades? Alright, let me try my, uh, stun, stun knife. <laughs> I think the wall is playing. Pop, pop. Oh. Oh man, it's quick with the slash. There we go. Just hit him with two shots on the ground. Two pistol shots, two track shots. I'll take him down. Let 
Maybe Johnny should wear the pens. That should be part of his uh, standard issue equipment. Along with his keyboard. Get some ammo. What the hell? Alright. Cool if uh, your AI teammates communicate to you, like, you know, three o'clock high or high back couch. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, I think that's a kill. So I shot her twice and then my trank took effect when she, uh, Oh man. Yeah, thanks for the compliment, pal. I think I got a kill though. Oh man. Gotta hurt the knees. Hey. And I gotta switch back to my... Oh wait, hold on. I just use the quick menu. Alright. Woo! Time for some unnecessary hand signals. Because supposedly our SOP connection gives us psychic connection, psychic communication. Let's give each other a thumbs up without actually checking the entire area. <laughs> Three shots, three kills. It's over, 
killed, man. The nanomachine network inside each unit member's body lets us share each other's senses. They can see what I see. And it helps control pain. Is that part of the system, too? With SOP, my team can literally operate as one. Well, except for a certain someone who's not much of a team player. So, what do you think? Is your age of heroes finally over? <laughs> I'm no hero. Never was. Never will be. You haven't changed at all, Snake. But... Your body... Are you gonna be alright? This get-up doubles as a muscle suit. I could still get around. And it tones my ass. Liquid's camp is up ahead. I'll mark it on your map. Thanks. Time for some more unnecessary hand signals. I mean, moments ago we were talking out loud. Akiba! One man's blunder can compromise the whole team. I'm sorry, Commander. And now we're talking out loud now. Which kind of defeats the purpose of using hand signals. Be careful, Snake. But I like the, uh, the design of the Foxhound unit uniforms. And Meryl definitely looks a lot more mature compared to the, uh, the pre-release trailers. She looked a lot like her Metal Gear Solid version. More Feminine and thinner. Otacon, I know where Liquid is. Yeah, I'm confirming the location. It's to the north of where you are. Meryl's really changed, hasn't she, Snake? She's a lot more self-assured. <laughs> I wonder how much of that has to do with the system. The senses you used to develop through extended training and experience can now be obtained without even working for them. Seems once you're under the system's control, you don't even need experience at all. It even beats that VR training that was all the rage a few years back. Yeah. The growing need for PMCs has led to the creation of a more reliable, cost-effective supply of elite soldiers. It's also made the child soldier phenomenon more problematic than ever. Can the nanomachines do anything to counteract post-traumatic stress disorder? Good question. They might provide a degree of psychological stability. You'd think so. That geek kid, Akiba, he was really starting to lose it. And technologically, the system should be able to optimize each soldier's personality traits. And that big guy, he didn't seem to be feeling any pain at all. Augmenting the soldier's existing experience and psychological fortitude. But a soldier's gotta have more than that. The times have changed, Snake. Just like Meryl. <sighs> Snake. Hurry to the PMC camp. Based on what Merrill told us, Liquid should be there. 